I think we are we are totally prepared. So it's uh, it's not a guarantee that we will win each and every game, but uh, we've shown in each and every difficult moment during the season um, that we kept our cool and, and uh, are mentally strong. And it was uh, after each and every loss uh, in the season. Thank God there were not so many losses. We always uh, answered uh, answered with a win. And also in the in the biggest spotlight games we were there with outstanding performances and outstanding results. Like I said, it's never a guarantee that we can go on, but we proved in many, many difficult situations. I can remember our game at Allen Road, so it was more like the game of the season and everyone was speaking about how well was Leeds doing at this moment and, and um, yeah, everyone was speaking if they win the game, they are already promoted or whatever. In this game, we were in, the, we were in this situation, in the circumstances we were there and delivered one of our best performances in the season and without any doubt also one of our best results. So I'm not concerned at all that we would crack under pressure or whatever. No, we have an unbelievable strong group and a big togetherness, a big spirit and I'm pretty sure we will go on. Of course, you wish that the players who were so much involved during the season, like Jamal Lewis, like Max Evans, like Timo Pukki, that there is not so much game time during this period. But I uh, also told myself when I start with this job, I will accept what uh, what you uh, what you can't influence, and this is a situation I don't want to influence because I totally understand all the national coaches; uh, they want to be successful as well, and it's not up to me just to tell them, okay, you have to think more about the club than about the national team. It's also a great. Uh, honor uh, for the players that they are allowed to play for the national teams and they are really desperate uh, to play and for that I don't want to um, uh, to avoid this topic. It's important uh, during this international break and especially during the second week um, to handle it in a yeah in a really in an individual way in a smart way. Timo came uh, came back and had two games and uh, for example yesterday um, yeah. We just gave him a really individual calm down recovery session and, and we didn't let him train uh, with the team. And Tim, Kru uh, Tim Klose, for example, who didn't play for the Switzerland team, he was uh, even yesterday involved in the, in the team training. I think it's important that you, you are smart then in, in order how to handle the situations. All in all, my feeling is we're in a good place. To be honest, I would prefer to travel to Middlesbrough more in a situation when they have won uh, the last game. It's more like it's always the same uh, when you have an experienced coach and an experienced um, group of players. When they are there with one or two poor results, sometimes a young or a bit naive team can be a bit nervous after this, but not the Tony Pulis side. It's more like they, I'm pretty sure they will be even more focused and more concentrated and won't lose the nerves. It's more like I think they will be there with one of the best performances in the season so far. And we know that uh, unbelievable. Um, tough game for us and we, we are pretty respectful and we know um, we, we have to be at our best level in order to, to win some points. When they are in lead it's, it's unbelievably difficult to, to, to turn the game but it's also a topic we have to be prepared so it could be that yeah anyhow they go in lead with a deflected strike or whatever and then you have to turn the game and um, of course it would help uh, let's say if we score the first goal also with our self-confidence perhaps the mood in the stadium but uh, even yeah, if um, yeah, the supporters would be a bit moody because we are in lead. Tony Pulis is so experienced and the players are so experienced. I don't think uh, they are too carried away because of this or they would lose the nerves. If I could choose uh, the team of the uh, season, I would uh, cho uh, choose my whole team, to, uh, to be honest. Um, but it's like this, I wasn't allowed to choose my, uh, my own team. And um, in general, so it's, I think it's, uh, I'm delighted for all the players who are involved and also all the other players who are nominated. I'm delighted for Timo and he deserves all the credit and all the applause and, uh, and all the spotlight and all the compliments because he's been outstanding. But it's also important um, that he keeps in mind what um, has brought him into this position. And this, um, and the most important thing was his hard work and uh, especially that he doesn't care so much about himself, about his individual record, um, more about the group and, and to work for this group and to work for this group of lads. He is of course shining, um, perhaps a bit the poster boy of our, our success and also well deserved and I'm also not concerned because he's so calmed down and so modest that he can handle all this, uh, all this uh, pl applause and all the compliments. You know my, my attitude, so quality is for me performance over long term period and uh, this is exactly what he, what he did and I think he's doing a fantastic job not only for a few weeks but really for, for many many months. In general of course he's also with his team in a good 
position like we are, for example, but there are really several uh, managers who are doing a fantastic job in this um, in this league, and they would would have uh, earned all the credit uh, as well. But uh, without any doubt, uh, Chris deserves all the credit and all the applause and all the spotlight, and I'm happy for him. It's even um, yeah easier to do this in such a period when there's not the big pressure and the big spotlight of the uh, of the next game. But I think it's also important, um, yeah, not to get too carried away. So it's uh, it's also important, um, yeah, that we're not too self-confident or too much self-loving after such a such a uh, yeah brilliant season so far that we that we stay greedy. And this was also the message uh, message uh, that we gave to the players in the in the recent weeks. We also win uh, want to win the. Um, eight games table in the, the last eight games. So it's more like we don't want just to defend and um, and to protect anything. We want to attack further on. So that's our mentality and in this mood we want to go. So for that we reflected, of course, what we've done so far, but it, it should lead to a situation where we're not right now scared. We have to defend something. No, we want to go further on and, and stay greedy and want to attack.